Welcome to the next lesson of the lesson series on Fibonacci Heap. Let's see what we had seen in the previous video lesson. In this lecture series, we are going to learn about Fibonacci Heap, its properties, operations, and applications of Fibonacci Heap. In the previous lesson, we had seen the definition of the Fibonacci Heap. We had seen how Fibonacci Heap is represented, what are its uh, mechanisms that is represented through doubly linked list, what are the advantages of using circular, circular doubly linked list in Fibonacci heap? We had talked about operations of the Fibonacci heap and we had seen how Fibonacci heap is created, how the node can be inserted into the Fibonacci heap and we had seen the running time of the operations. From today's lesson, we will talk about the union of the Fibonacci heap. The union operation in the Fibonacci heap majorly needs two steps. Step number one, we concatenate two Fibonacci heap and root lists are circular doubly linked list. So they are easily added to each other and the min is justified. So we need to concatenate two Fibonacci heap. Let's consider these are the two Fibonacci heap. This is a H dash and this is H double dash. Now we can see in H dash, this is the 17 as the min uh, node. So this is the pointer to the min node in H dash. And this is the three, this is the min node in the H double dash. We need to concatenate these two and join these two with the circular doubly linked list. So what we need to do is we need to uh, just uh, insert this into the doubly linked list and the pointers will start pointing to root nodes using the uh, circular doubly linked list. The running time of this operation is of order of one because we simply joining two circular doubly linked list and that has the time complexity of order of one. The next is the delete min operation. So uh, in that case, we need to perform the deletion of the minimum element, which can be very easy because we have a direct pointer pointing to the min element of the Fibonacci heap. So we need to extract this min pointer that can be directly accessed using the min pointer. And then the further tree is merged into the root list. So we have two operations here. We delete the minimum and concatenate its children into the root list. So once this is deleted, these will form the root list of the remaining tree. And then we need to consolidate trees so that no two roots have same degree. This is called as the consolidation step where we need to consolidate trees so that no two roots have same degrees. So let's see how this can be done. So this is we have the min element. So we need to delete this min element. Once we will delete the remaining tree uh, will be this and the remaining tree. These three nodes will join the root list of the uh, other tree. So this will be the concatenation. You can see uh, we had deleted this node and these three will come up and join the root list of the tree. So we can see these three nodes have joined the root list. Now the second step that is the consolidation of the tree so that no two roots have same degree. Here we can say the root has degree one. This tree has degree one. This has degree zero. This is degree zero. This is degree zero. And this is also with degree one. So we can see that there are lots of trees with similar degree. So we need to consolidate the tree uh, with the uh, no same degrees. In that case, we start marking the leftmost root node in the tree as the minimum and current node. So once we delete this node, we bring these three nodes up in the root list and we'll uh, move to the leftmost node and make it the min and the current node of the tree. Then we need to have a buffer we create a buffer with the same size as of the maximum height of the tree in this Fibonacci heap. As we can see here, we have a height uh, one, here we have 
height 2, here we have 1, here we have 0, with height 0, with height 1, with height 0 and with height 1. So we have taken a buffer uh, of these heights 0, 1, 2, 3, plus 1. So we'll take plus 1. So maximum height of this heap is 2. So we'll create a buffer with 2 plus 1, that is 3. So this is with height 0, this is with height 1, this is with height 2 and this is with height 3. Now we'll start with the uh, current node. This is the min and we can see the height of this root node is 1 as we have one child. So the height of this node is 1. So we'll uh, move this uh, node to the location indicating by 1. Now we'll move the current and we can see that now this current is indicating to 24 with height 2. So now we'll connect this with the buffer height 2. So this has been connected with buffer height 2. Now we'll again move and now we can see this is the current with height 0. So now we'll connect this with height 0. So we can see this is height 0. Again we'll move the current and now we can see that this is the another root node with the same height that is with the 0. In that case we need to compare these two elements 23 and 17 and according to the comparison we need to merge these two trees and obviously uh, on merging the smaller node will remain in the root list and the larger role uh, node will come to the left of the smaller node and this will become new current node and will be mentioned uh, accordingly so we can see we have merged this smaller node is up the larger node is down and we made this as the new current node and now we can see that this is having with the uh, height 1 now so this is height 1 now this will be connected this needs to be connected with 1 here but as we can see that we already have another tree with the same height so again we need to perform the merge operation the merge operation will be done in these two similar height uh, trees and obviously the smaller node will come up and the larger node tree will be the left child of this node now we can see this is the current node and this is the min uh, pointer also and uh, this is also now having the height 2 we are already having a tree with height 2 here so now these two trees needed to be merged together so we need to merge these two trees comparing their root nodes which is the smaller the seven one is a smaller so this uh, will come as the left child so the tree will come and join as a left child of the tree so now this is the minimum and current and now we can move ahead the current node will move ahead this will be joined with the height so now we have the height uh, 0 1 2 and 3 so this will be joined with height 3 and the current node will move further as we can see this is now the new current node with height 1 so we'll connect this with height 1 we'll move ahead and this is the new node with current node and this is with height 0 so we'll connect this with buffer height 0 now we'll move ahead and this is the new current with similar height that we already have a tree you can see this is also with height 1 this is also with height 1 we need to merge these two trees so we'll merge these two trees uh, you can see we need to merge these two trees the smaller this is 18 so we cannot see here because this is a mark node but this is 18 let's consider that this is 18 this node is 18 so this will be the smaller and this will come up in the root list and the larger tree will come as the left child of the tree so now we can see that this is the current node and uh, we have uh, all the trees with different heights so we can see that we have consolidated this uh, Fibonacci heap and a new Fibonacci heap after the delete minimum and with pointing the main node into the root list. This is how we perform delete main operation. In the next lesson, we will be talking about some more operations like decrease key and we will be talking about the delete key into the Fibonacci heap. Thank you so much.